Hey everyone, I'm um, just doing a review on the um, Easy Part XL um, HD synthetic hair. Um, I've had some interest in it, so I just wanted to show you what the base looks like, uh, the different lengths that it comes in, and I'm going to try and curl this one. So this is a synthetic hair, uh, but it's HD synthetic. Um, it will resist hair from, um, from zero. It will resist heat from zero, obviously, um, to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So... But uh, the John Renault company says keep it at 280, so uh, 270, 280. So I'm going to do about 300, and we'll see where that goes. Um, so I just want to show you the base. So this part is right in the front. Here are the side clips, and this one is right in the back. It does not have the lace in the front, so you do have to have a little bit of your own hair here that you can kind of comb out, um, and then you would clip it right just where you feel comfortable and where it looks most natural for you. Um, you can cut some bangs into this if you did want to wear, uh, wear it right up to your hairline, and you can just wear a bang and kind of swoop it over. That would look really nice too. Um, so you would wash this one about every uh, six to eight washes you would use the synthetic shampoo and synthetic conditioner we've got a shampoo and a leave-in spray uh, if you're going to curl this you want to use uh, a thermal setting spray uh, so it's the john renault uh, thermal spray for heat resistant fibers so there's that one there so if you needed that one i could provide that for you um, and then with the HD synthetic, you just want to use the wide tooth comb. Um, and I could get that for you as well. Um, with these fibers, they tend to, if you use a brush, they tend to um, spring up too much. Uh, so, you know, when you're wrapping a present and then you have the, the ribbon and you kind of curl that ribbon and then it it curls up and you use a pair of scissors with that or something very sharp. Um, that's kind of what happens if you don't use wide tooth comb with this. You get little curls just kind of random and then eventually, you know, they'll they'll break off because you're putting stress on onto the hair. So always just use your fingers or just a wide tooth comb. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll use my wet brush. Um, so my wet brush has like really wide bristles, um, as long as it's not pulling on the hair. Um, and then just go easy on the ends if there are tangles. Just start from the bottom, comb, and then work your way up, okay? This is the 18 inch length. It comes in a, a 12 inch and it also comes in an eight inch. Um, this is, uh, I don't know what color this is. It's not the black, but it's one step up. I don't have the tag on it anymore, but it's a nice chocolate brown. So um, I would say it's like a level six or four. <laughs> I'm not quite sure on that one, but it's definitely not black, but it's a nice chocolate brown. If you are interested, I can find out for you and I'll write it down in the description, okay? So there are no layers in this. If you do want layers, um, we could add layers for you or like just a little bit down on the bottom so it doesn't look like it's a straight cut it's more natural where it's wispy so you will see if you if you grab some hairs from the top and bring it down it doesn't go all the way down but it kind of tapers off near the bottom um so like i said if you did need some layers put in there just to blend in with your hair you could do that um so i have my mannequin head here um oh i wanted to show you up close what the the part looks like so this is a low density topper. Low density means there's less hair. It's not like, um, you know, there's people with thick hair and there's people with thin hair. This is the thin hair crew uh, and it's more flat where some people have really thick hair and then it just kind of like pops up at the volume, um, at the root for more volume. You know, that might not be um, natural for a lot of people. So I usually recommend something like this if, People just want just something natural, don't want too much volume, don't want to draw too much attention to yourself, like, whoa, you know what's going on with your hair? You got a whole new do. But if you just want to kind of blend in with what you used to have, this would be a great addition 
to your your hair routine okay so you can see kind of like right through it so all the hairs are kind of tied on individually there this whole top part is like that so you know wherever you part it you're going to have the scalp so it's going to look like your natural scalp okay um i'll just put it on here just so you can see how much it covers okay so uh, let's say this is the the front of my gal and what you would do like the clips are like they're pressure sensitive clips on the side and just you know clip them like in and out kind of right so you'd open up all the clips the bigger part goes on the back so it will cover you know you know if your hair kind of splits where you have your little cowlick or your little whirl or whatever um, and then this part goes in the front so it kind of looks like a saddle and the, the smaller part goes right in the front so you would kind of uh, put it where you want dig those clips in and just push them down on the edges all right same on the sides and you want to keep your hand on the top as you're clipping each side because you want it to be nice and flat on your scalp and then you're just kind of holding it here just so it doesn't move around and if you need to give it a little wiggle so it can like kind of grab some hairs into the clip and then all right so that's where i'm gonna put some pins because i don't have any hair to clip it on so um i'm gonna pin it through the clip so it doesn't damage the topper so you don't want to put any pins or anything through the top of it you want to put it like in between the topper and the clip so where the lace is in the clip you kind of fold the the uh, topper material the lace over and then get your pin right in between in there it's a little a little tricky but you can get it okay so that's the topper there so there's quite a bit of hair like again this is the 18 inch so maybe 12 i think it would it would go like eight inches maybe under your ear 10 12 so it would be like maybe at the top of your shoulders i'll have to look but i think somewhere around there um but there's a lot on the side um and then when you lift it up you know it's just right about there so this would all be your hair underneath your ear would be right about here um, so as long as you have some good hair to clip onto around here, uh, you can either just wear your hair all down or you can wear this in a ponytail. Like look how high up you can go with that ponytail and it would still look like really nice on the top, right? Um, you know, um, you can spray, you know, if you are a little bit thinning here, you can spray um, maybe some filler. I know some some of my clients use like that spray filler, the color of your hair, just to kind of hide the scalp a little bit. I think that would work as well. It's like those fibers. I'm not sure the name of it, but you know what I mean. And then in the back, it goes to right about here. Okay, so... You know, if it blows a little bit, like you'll see, you'll see a little bit right there, but you know, you can back comb this or just give it a spray and, you know, comb it over and give it a spray. We have some, um, hairspray as well. Some synthetic hairspray you can use. Okay. So I'm going to try and curl this. Um, like I said, you can part it wherever you want, but I'm going to curl the one side. I'm going to start a little bit on the bottom because I'm a little nervous, but okay. Let's see how curly we can get this. Mm. Hold on one sec. I need a clip. Okay. I'm ready. You ready? Are we recording? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to use the thermal spray, the number three. I'll spray a little bit like that. I'm going to take small sections at first. Um, this is kind of a big section, so I'm going to go half that. So this is maybe one inch and, you know, maybe half an inch up. I'm going to comb it with this. 
and then I'm going to grab this and we're going to try and curl it. Now again, I put this on 300, so you want to have um, a curling iron that has a digital setting or like a little knobby thing that you can turn. Mine has that little knobby thing there that I can turn. I put it on 300. So, so far so good. I'm just going to check this. Okay, so it looks like it's starting to curl. So I'm going to hold it a little bit longer. I was just a, I was just kind of nervous to do it. Last thing I want is for her hair to melt off. So this would be good for somebody who has like um, wavy hair um, and you didn't want to purchase a human hair wig. Um, but you also don't want to get the, um, the wavy, uh, topper in synthetic. Uh, this would be good. You can touch it up yourself. You can straighten it out a little bit, or you can curl it up more. Let's see how this goes. Not bad. Okay. So that is on 300. Another, I'm going to do something else. So you heat it up like this, and then when you're done, you kind of clip it in place with the curl kind of intact there. So it has a chance to cool down and set. So I'm going to do that with this one. I'm going to hold that curl up because I don't want to let it go. And I want it to dry like that because so I can feel the warmth on there and I don't want it to straighten out so I'm just going to loop a clip or you can use a bobby pin or something just like that let's see how that is okay so I'm going to keep going around I'm going to keep doing this then I'll come back and show you what it looks like Okay, so I moved the camera down just a little bit so you can see. I'm going to do one more curl for you so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I just took this piece here. I'm going to comb it. Just get all the, uh, the uh, tangles out. Then I'm going to use this spray protection. I'm going to get my iron. 280 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to start curling. Get that end in. Or I have a little bit sticking out, that's okay. Curl it all the way up. And I'm going to hold it there just for a bit. I like to just kind of touch the outside of it. 280 is not too, too hot. Um, but when you can start to feel like the heat all the way to the outside edge, that's good. See, I can kind of hold it. Okay, and then I'm going to put my hand right under and I'm going to kind of tap on that. Um, the little lever there. I'm holding on to the curl in my hand and then I'm going to just grab all the curls together and I grabbed these clips but you can also use a little bobby pin. So I've got like little clips like this but you can use bobby pin and you just pin uh, the one side of the curl see that's the loop there so where my hand is and my fingers are that's where you're going to clip so you want to clip the stuff that's like on the scalp to the one side of the the circle the loop and then you're just going to leave it like that okay so i'm just going to let it cool down for a minute and i'm going to change the block head so you can see a little bit better because black on black isn't really good um, and then i'll show you what that looks like Alrighty, here I am. So I uh, got this girl here. Um, so I've got contrasting hair colors. So you'll be able to see exactly how much it's going to cover. Okay. Uh, I'll show you again how to clip it. So you unclip all these. I know this might be repetitive, but too bad. Some people might need it. So you go right in the middle 
or depending on where your part is. Like if you want more coverage over here because you part your hair on this side, you can just move it over. Um, so I'm going to just kind of dig in, press down, I'll keep my hand on the top, find the clip on the side. So there's four clips. Keep my hand on the top and then the back. There we go, all clipped. Okay, we're nice and cool now. So I just waited like literally five minutes just until it was cool. And you can tell already how much more it's helping. So just that little clip helped a lot. Um, and if you're gonna be cutting some layers into it, that length isn't going to be weighing that curl down. So it's going to be more curled up at the root. Okay, already it's much better. So I think if, if you are going to curl it, oh yeah, that's good. Let me pick her up so you can see. So that's really great. So I just kind of like took those curls out. I didn't bother combing them just yet because I wanted you to see. So I'm going to kind of comb that through. And it just depends on how you do the curls. Um, you can even use rollers if you want. Just put a little bit in there. So because this is an 18 inch, it's kind of weighing it down a little bit. But I think if you've got some layers in there and you curled each layer, like the shorter pieces separately from the longer ones that go all the way down, um, you'll have a really nice curl. So I, I'm happy with that result. I hope you are too. So you can see how much that covers because it's a blonde wig underneath, well, brassy, um, like a reddish orangey color. This is my, my playing with mannequin. Play, do lots of colors on that. But you can see how much it covers, right? And I'll show you what it looks like when you put it up in a ponytail. So if you're putting it up, see? And you can see what's her hair. Right? And then that still looks really nice. I think it looks very natural. So you can see, like, you just have to figure out where you want to place it. You can place it here, down. Um, and then just say, if you do see, um, like, oh, that edge there, sometimes you can see the edge. Just kind of take your hair and you can, like, you know, put it up like that. Or what you can do is take some of the hair that's on the side and then just crisscross it somehow just to kind of hide it. You just have to get a little bit creative. So see, now that's there and it's totally covered and you can pin it. Um, and you can kind of braid it, do whatever you want. All right. So hopefully that helps. Um, and if you did want to put a little bit of the blow dryer to it, just make sure it's on like the medium low setting. Um, and then if you did want to kind of change the part a little bit here, or if you wanted to cut bangs and it keeps going in your face like that, you can use, um, a blow dryer, or you can even just kind of use the temperature of your skin, right? Just warm it up. And press it down you just kind of have to train it over over there um, what I would do is maybe spritz it with some water um, and then just lightly pin it to the side just so it doesn't make any marks or anything but so it dries in that direction and same with the part here if you want it to go you know either way just try and train it with your hands get the warmth of your hands a light blow dryer or wet it part it let it dry overnight and that should work as well okay so hopefully that gives helps you out and makes you feel a little bit better about the the hd i think it's good but like i said see like there's some good curls from here down right there the front one's not the greatest i want to do it again but these couple in the back they're really good so i held it there for maybe about 45 seconds before i let it go at 280 but like I said, you can do it on 350, um, but I would just be a little more careful. Don't hold it as long and just test it out on like maybe one of the pieces in the back. All right. Okay, so I hope that helps. So again, this is 
Easy Part XL HD in the 18 inch. Not sure of the color, uh, four or six, but uh, I'll write it in the comments below, okay? Perfect. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.